Brexit. Discuss. Yeah. <laughs> so prideful thing as a continent. Like having uh, like having a coin or like a denomination of funds. Like oh, you mean you can see them for keeping the pound? Yeah, but I think with Brexit happening, and we were saying like this, if it does happen, the cyclical cycle, they try to come back to the EU. Yeah, EU turns around and says, "Yeah, sure, no, but yeah. there's the fucking pound." I, yeah. I, I, for one, live for the one person who will uh, at least jokingly put forward the policy in twenty years that it's like, yeah, you know what, you can come back into the EU. No terms change whatsoever. <laughs> you just have to put you have to put a statue of Napoleon in Trafalgar Square. No, that'd be great. It's, that's all. <laughs> Nothing else. Statue of Napoleon in Trafalgar Square. Fuck yourself. It's like, because that's how the EU will respond. All British banknotes at the bottom must say the Beatles weren't that great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, in French, they just all have to have Swiss people. It doesn't matter who. It's just. All your banknotes are Swiss people now. Oh god. We don't care who. Swiss people. <laughs> they won't know who. Just call it no called making there. the Swiss like the, the switch. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's such I, an English yeah. joke. If they're Did not really? gonna go back, then they've gotta go Commonwealth. Yeah. They've gotta up the Commonwealth like yeah. crazy. But that that means that's that they're going the to become garbage. That's ex- that's what I'm saying. That's not the worst thing for Canada to have the Commonwealth be active right now yeah Reinforced. but on the other certain hand, other large powers be acting up all over the place it might not be the worst <laughs> idea to ally ourselves given that we're kind of a middling middle power my concern uh-huh. though but i also don't want to be no offense associated with the whiny t- kid yeah and that's like, what they're doing and, and you you know that <laughs> well you charge extra admission to a whiny kid <laughs> or you tell them they have to show good behavior for some time but then again that's what i yell about canada all the time for being so fucking paternalistic so maybe we shouldn't do that so is canada a millennial yes but to Britain, and it's just kind of like whatever, mom. But there's the thing, yeah. Britain's oh, not the kid; it's the irresponsible parent. So when they come to the Commonwealth for help, it's going to be presumed that you give it. That's true. If they send like a fucking upper class uppity some representative to anything hosted yeah. in this country, that won't go over super well. That's if they send someone who has like a little bit, more, not that Canadians are great at determining which accents are. You know, like super low brow, but we can tell when they're the super high Yeah, you like, you know what the royals sound like, and yeah. I think that's why they send us send switched. us received basic English. Like, yeah, we can we can do that. That's fine. We I think that's why they switched, especially into this celebrity mode, because they know that at some point they're going to have to start begging, yeah. and it's way better to have these adorable uh, celebrities show up who happen to be royal. And they go, la, 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 la. And everyone goes, ooh. And then they ask for money. Oh, I hate. See, that's what I really hope for, is that the royals will come asking for money someday. Because everyone's defense of keeping the royals in this country, which I yell about all the fucking time, is that they don't cost us anything. And I'm like, only, like, and I can't respond with, only our dignity, because then I'm that guy. But I do think it's ridiculous. Mm, it's ridiculous. Like, like if if we're going to have um uh oh my god I can't believe I forgot. all humans one... are created equal except for the ones that are born into this old family from Germany that live in another country on another continent but still are valid enough yeah. to have on your currency. Yeah, totally. It's at least an interesting lineage. They're only on our currency. That's that's, that's, that's what I thing. chalk it up to is it's an in- interesting lineage that can be traced through some big. Changes in the world. Ancestry, yeah. not whatever. It's You've got, got one. You get on a bank now. It, it, it is interesting, but, I think but that's it, where I leave it. I think it should be treated the same way as the Japanese treat their royal family or the way that the Bourbons are treated in France. No, I feel like France. that's mean. <laughs> the Japanese? They are kind of like a zoo, aren't they? Oh my god, it's no, it's like, like your life is so regimented, you have to like bow out of the royal family and disassociate yourself entirely. That's happened a bunch of times now, too. If you want to live in anything close to normal life, or you have to be like, okay, we recently watched um, The Christmas Prince, the second oh one. God. I heard, a royal I heard wedding. that everyone loves it. I haven't seen it. It's delightful <laughs> garbage. It's the worst garbage you'll ever see. Bring it tomatoes. is so great. But she's like, oh, it's so good. It's the most amazing hate watch. But this this dolt head soon to be princess and that one is like, hmm, I can't believe they're making me censor my blog where I put up tons of personal photos of the royal family that I didn't could get their consent for. And then you look at Japan and they're like, I had an independent thought. 
Like, no. <laughs> I accidentally wore the wrong color in public. It just, no, you, you can't. You can't. Oh no, you God. can't. You can't. You absolutely can't. You must do all these things at all these times. It is this season, therefore you must live here and you must be doing these things. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, like, granted, that would be horrible to live through. Mm-hmm. But entertaining to watch. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone's, I guess... You know, I don't read Hello Magazine, so I well, don't care neither, about Well, neither do I, but, like, that's because, again, we treat them as celebrities, whereas that's almost like... If Hello documented the absolute museum. rigid punishment oh we exert over our monarch and her family in order to keep that fancy house and, you know, vague constitutional <laughs> power. they treated it like it was dare you, they're not vague. Big Brother, like, losing a competition in Big Brother, like, <laughs> just that constant stress... Of like no no now you have to yeah you, you have to make amends oh god yeah, get in the pit and uh, wrestle get until you pit. find <laughs> find find the, the the rocks in the mud or wherever the fuck it is they do on hey, their shows hey 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 have you had a son hey, hey, have you had a son hey, have, you had a son? Hey, have you had a son yet hey, have you had a son daughter How what's this shit what is that <laughs> although they did change that legally and I'm sure that social attitude oh, does yes, not I, persist I, I, especially I'm sure among it the elders doesn't persist at all um there's the new movie that. That's coming out. Uh, favorite, and it's about Queen Anne and her two two of her uh, ladies in waiting, who are actually running more of the country than she was because she had a lot of uh, personal like mental issues and like had gotten to the point where she was she had given birth to seven children or seventeen children all died. Oh my god! And like what had was just like living a bad life. Yeah. And these two younger cousins were running a lot more of the kingdom than she was and it's about them taking power away from her but then from each other as well and it's a really interesting story because the um, Sarah uh, Churchill is a descendant of Princess Diana and no. Winston Churchill by the way or ancestor yeah Anse- she's cool. an ancestor no no, no. I mean like Cool uh, in the sense of like well, yes, continuity but, of a story. Yes, but Interesting. still, it's yeah, so that's glamorizing where, yeah. a family. And that's why I'm really in it, it, it being yeah. in existence. I realize lots of people care about it. It would just be so nice if there was like you know a Canadian mythos that we actually documented yes. in popular movies. Uh, oh, it's speaking of at, at least somewhat in terms of money. Yes, I know nothing's popular in Canada. No. Um, uh, Viola Desmond money. I haven't seen Viola Desmond Money yet. I, I have. Uh, it, it's really good. Uh, her head is the biggest head on Canadian money in history. Wow. It's they. She was a hairdresser. <laughs> nice. And like, it, it oh, is yeah. Is it her, like, in profile? Because it's the lengthwise bill. Well, you know? yeah, she's not in profile. She's It's a full oh, okay. portrait, like a bust portrait. Um, but, yeah, the, the being uh, lengthwise, and it, it totally works. Um, both yeah, sides look I mean, really cool and stuff. I've heard like they're like, well, this is how people hand money now, like, and it makes it makes complete sense. I'm like, when did we? The know other that? side's uh, we, like... vertical as well, so mm-hmm. it, it's not incongruous. Mm-hmm. But it's just this coolest thing of the. There is no royalty on it. It's oh. just this woman. Whoa. Yeah, it's just this woman who was like, "Hey, go fuck yourself for being an asshole," and that's great. Yeah. Holy, okay, no, I completely misinterpreted this. The I just assumed side, they were going to be like, this is where we put, like, the other side you know, the whatever art museum. on one side. Oh, that's great. Yeah. In uh, uh, Winnipeg. Nice. Yeah. So it's just, nope. Does it, is there any, like, any Canadian it's, emblem that has royal, the, royal... No, like, uh, I know that it, for, for legal reasons it has, like, you know, royal Canadian... Mint, uh, and it'll have her mint. signature somewhere, but you hmm. don't notice it. And it also includes a gold uh, native swearing um, um, uh, feather. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. No, I like this. Not a uh, royal. Nice. And that uh, the the quote there is uh, from the charter. Uh, below the ten on the right. Oh, and oh that's the, uh, That's like... good. You can you can get a free copy of the charter to put up in your house. Yes. I think I'm going to do that. Apparently, the waiting list is long, but still. Yes, it is because it's it's actually like high quality. But that's great. That makes that me really happy that it's Halifax? high quality and popular. Hmm? Is that a map of Halifax beside her? Yes, uh, yes it's it North is. End Halifax. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, the the bit under it, uh, the semicircle, is if you're standing in the Library of Parliament and look straight up, that's what you see. That's the design. Oh, cool. And it's like see-through silver. 
Oh, neat. God, our bills are getting real fancy. Oh, yeah. They're super fucking cool. And then you look at the Americans and you're like, oh, pfft. Oh, all that? the green nonsense. What is what? That's the mid-10. That's the 10. Stealing that... Viola's Thunder? Oh, because there was a woman on yeah. the bill. People used to say it was the first woman. It's like, no, there was first that peacekeeper, then there was her. Yeah, but, but no, it's featured clearly more prominently. Yeah. She's the only person on the bill. That is interesting. How the fuck did we get from Brexit to Viola Desmond? Are we recording? Yeah. That's not. Oh, it's another one. Oh, okay. Ah, there we are. There we go. <laughs> we were just having a conversation. God fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I hate friendship. Why would I waste my time on that? Uh, it, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> we should actually... This was a nice cold open Shit. for season three yeah, of this yeah, show. Yeah, it was, yeah. That would have made a great segment three, but we'll get back to that. Well, what, it, why don't you run, bring us in? Right. Where are we? Uh, well, <laughs> welcome to season three of The Industry is Doom. I'm Mickey Gorman. <laughs> I'm Blake Hunsley. And I'm Brent Robertson. Uh, welcome back. Oh, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, talking about the state of the world. <laughs> oh, and uh, the world has gotten... Weirder? It has. Not it's, worse. Well, well, kind of worse, but also no. weirder, but also... Yeah, there's local mm, mm. little pockets better in places, I think. Yeah. It, it, you the can, germs, you that's can see happened how it's getting we better. Away. Yeah, there was that. Man, yeah, we were away for that. There's there's good things, and then there's weird things, and then there's a few bad things, but the bad things are at least kind of like being caught up to. Mm. That that seems appropriate. Yeah, I'd say that's true. Yeah. Um. So... First, local uh, America international is that how we do this? Yeah, let's do that. Right. Uh, local, uh, we have been gone so long that the war on drugs won, and George W. Bush or George H. W. Bush uh, died. That's part two. Yeah, but I had to say that whole thing because part one is definitely the uh, the war on drugs was lost. Oh, well, that's right, because we're smoking a bowl right now. Yes, Mary's Dewana is uh, legal. We've never smoked weed before, let alone on this show. In the Canada. Never. It's never happened. But uh, it's fine now. It's completely fine now. The government stores are the... Okay, Nova Scotia finally did something I've well. Been in one. Nova Scotia finally did something well. We never do anything well. And we got weed stores pretty great, I gotta say. Yeah. And someone out there is going to be like, ah, they ran out and they didn't have this and blah. They, like, they don't run out as bad as apparently everyone else. It was fucking illegal, like... Not yesterday. If we recorded this podcast on time, we could say yesterday. Uh, we, we can definitely, though, say uh, less than a month, and, month and, a half. and a half. Yeah. 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 And you know what? It's kind of mellowed out. And I love nothing more than okay. going when there's just like... Because sometimes there's still lines and I'm still like, mm, but then I remember it's still legal weed and it's actually pretty reliable and really good quality. Um, But the lines when they are there... Is just the biggest cross section of everyone <laughs> possible. The amount of senior citizens in the lineups in the cannabis shops in Nova Scotia. I mean, it is Nova Scotia. Yeah. Um, so, you know, most of us are seniors. But it's just a little bit of statistical. everyone. It's great. It's like, you know, I, oh, this will anger Nana. It's the new church. It's great. You want to interact <laughs> with people across social boundary lines of yeah. class and color, then you go to the cannabis shop run Everybody by the government to, to get your gummit weed. Gummit weed. weed. So many people have started to call it gummit weed. It makes me so happy. I love smoking gummit oh, weed just because gosh. I get to say that. It's going well, though. It, yeah, no, everything seems to actually be progressing quite well. Well, it's going well in this province. Meanwhile, the and province... And it's going well in the legal market. Yes. The it, not legal market locally is not going so well. It's having some, you know, it's, the usual... It's slowly getting Dispensary owners down. having some violent run-ins and things. Oh, I and... saw um, a, a, a video recently of Chris Enns, and he has gone full legit in appearance. Suits, short cropped hair, everything. When we used to report on him, he was the definition of, like... The hippie hard drug owner. This is why dude. I'm, this like, is why I'm hoping that the media imagery will now change. Yeah, like because yeah, it's still the first. It's still the you know obvious stoner and like all the paraphernalia gear every oh time. Oh my god, the news on October seventeenth was just 
painful. Yeah. Because nothing else happened in Canada that entire day. No <laughs> nothing else happened in Canada occurred. that entire week. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god. Because everyone was waiting in line to get weed. Yeah. And, and it was it was like the 1972 uh, Canada Russia game where <laughs> nothing <laughs> happened. No crime was reported in Canada during that game. That is a fact. No crime occurred in Canada for about two and a half hours in 1972. <laughs> because everyone was watching fucking what hockey. What the weirdest fucking country. And, and the Olympics. Um, was that the Olympics? No, it was, it was a challenge. It was like a, a separate thing uh, against the Russians. But um, uh, it, it ended up on some money for a while. Uh, uh, but for, for October 17th, October 16th, 17th, and 18th, nothing happened. Yeah. And so all they did... And if it did, it got dumped. Oh, God, perfect yeah. time for it. Yeah. So you just sit a camera outside a dispensary, and you just talk to people coming out who are all smiles, going, <laughs> holy shit, I got a big bag of weed. Here I am on TV. Big bag of weed. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Bye. Mm-hmm. It really did. That's the nice part, though, that I find is all of the social stigma pretty much died overnight. It was fascinating. It's shocking how poof fine it is. like... You know, smoked a pipe with my parents sitting at the table. Not with my parents. Like, I, sh- I should be so lucky. But, <laughs> it went uh, up in smoke. They're, they're ah. still Presbyterian, so, you know, not that much has changed in Canada. So no weed for them. But no, but, the, you know, it's your house is what the, is the general rule. Like, yeah. You know, and, and yeah, I think he, Andrew Shear came out on the 19th, I want to say, suggesting that, like, if he was reelected, they, oh, yeah. they would they would reconsider it. And within a day, he came out and said, no. Yeah. Oh, his yeah. his own party was like, "What the fuck are you oh, talking man. about?" Yeah. Oh man, are we gonna get straight to federal party leaders on terrible there? Uh, not yet, because uh, we definitely have to talk about the hilarity that is. One province in Canada did fuck up, uh, marijuana. Oh, and it's the one led by the former drug dealer. Do you want to throw an alleged in there for politeness? Nope. That's he is great. on record as a drug dealer. I will take your word the, for the it. The OPP. Uh, th- Do they we, know we will he? attest to it. Yeah, the OPP will attest that he is a drug dealer, former drug dealer. So he's already lost. He's lost who? He lost one. He he lost. I think three. Has he lost at three? this point? I knew he lost two or three. One. He's yeah. trying to rush through apparently official party status a rejig. So if what's her name there joins the Liberals over the French issue. Yeah. That'll sound like gobbledygook to someone who doesn't know what's going on oh, in Ontario. Oh, God. Is the... False notes, because I am a little behind. They've decided to infl- inflame the language issue, which is A, always a great always idea in Canada, idea. always yeah. a great idea in Canada, it and makes... B, always a great idea when you're right next door to Quebec, yeah. which is newly excitable. Suicide. Own yeah. provincial government. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's oh, it's insane. hilarious. No, it's perfect. It's exactly what Doug Ford needed. Yeah, I, I'm so happy he, he fucked his, himself so quickly. So yeah. quickly on so many issues. Well, not only himself, but it's like, hey, what if you put... It's like everyone's just looking at all the provincial elections lately and going, oh, this looks good for the national conservatives. And locally, knowing full well that our next premier will be a progressive conservative. Uh, oh, stop. Anything's an improvement. No, he, he did... A the very, minister is an improvement, for Christ's sakes. Tim did a dog whistle, and that's very concerning. Ew, when? Uh, it was the day after he was elected or you know like selected and he said i reach out to all chapters of conservatism and it's just oh no i don't know that that is a clear call to the alt-right i think that's more no i think that's more a way to counter the fact that he's already gotten himself a reputation as being left of the liberal and, and that's why I worry about is that he's going to allow them to creep in to not appear as left as he is. Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. By actually saying I'm open to all chapters of conservatism, you're essentially saying I'm not actually open to all chapters of conservatism. So I'm going to say that I am right now. Get that little bit out in my opening speech and get some noise and then quietly just ignore you. I hope that is true. Yep. I do. Really? I have faith in Nova Scotians generally across political stripes. Whether that's a good idea or not is debatable. But when it comes to, I don't know, when it comes to that, the alt-right, yeah, I, I know there's I pockets don't... everywhere in this province. God knows yeah, there is. And of oh, course yeah. there's just, you know, 
There's more, there's more subtle racism that's all over the place. Well, yeah. But there's not often support for that shit. No, but there are still Proud Boys and Soldiers of Odin here. Yeah, and everybody fucking makes fun of them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But that's making fun of, like, people made fun of the Nazis. You, you have to stomp them. You Making fun of them I'm is not, what you do after. I'm, you yes. stomp first, and then you laugh at them. You don't laugh at them and think that depowers them. I, uh, when they're at a certain threshold in society, yes, and that threshold has to be fucking low to get like to get in the doorway before they get in the doorway. Yeah, but we're not there yet. I hope not. Nah, I, I'm being unreasonably optimistic for me. It, but I think well, I'm right. there's a roving gang of white supremacists murdering the witnesses and people who spoke out during Flint, for instance, in America. And it's very specific. That doesn't surprise you, me at all. America's saw, an insane, crazy pot right now. But like they're target. Any black person you saw related to Flint, like the protests there, that person's probably dead now. And they died under mysterious circumstances that people are bragging about online. There's nothing about America that surprises me these days. And that's just across the border. The problem is contamination of idea. I think you will back me up in this in Canadian resistance to American ideas. You're right across the river from Detroit. Uh, you can and you're for... stridently right across the river from Detroit, as in, like, you know, we're right across from you in just about every fucking attitude as well. Yeah. Cars, of course, yes, we all love cars. But yeah. aside from that, no. The fucking... worry isn't The necessarily... NDP is most seriously oh entrenched God. in fucking Windsor, for yeah. Christ's sake. Yeah, and it's not Windsor that you worry about. It's the assholes who use that as, like, a... a corridor and they end up at, in Calgary you know yeah I believe it in Calgary yeah and it's it's that corridor of ideas I feel I'm, I have misgivings about a lot of a, a lot of news out of different parts of the west yeah I don't know there's just a central swath there where I know people from who are amazingly lovely but then like I don't know there is that might be too broad of a brush to paint all the West with. I don't mean to do but you that. Also do, like, no, but it just seems a lot more some. likely for certain shit to sp- sprout up like that than it does here. Yeah, it, it definitely... And maybe that's just can't happen here-ism, but... Well, yes and no. I, I think it's more... There... I don't even buy it in Quebec, and Quebec has a reputation for enjoying flirting with that kind of nonsense. Yeah, well, it does. But, but it, when it, it gets down to it, I don't even buy it from Quebec, let alone here. I think it has more to do with power structures. It's not that it wouldn't happen here. It's that you can't get the kind of traction you uh, you would hear, not because people wouldn't be into it, but it's not the center of fucking money. No, attention. here is a stepping stone. Calgary is what it is because yeah. of the money and attention it has. That's why they're so strong there, because you can get a message out. You have lots of resources. It's not here because we haven't been a center of resource for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to, like, the American Revolution, and at that point, you know, the the, the colonies, the the rebels would have been seen as the thing that you're fucking fighting against or the thing that you're uprising with. Mm -hmm. There was a hotbed of activity in Halifax. There was constant fighting and, like, spies and shit. Uh, My home county is where... Oh yeah, little yeah. Flare ups, and also um, over in fucking Majorville, south of Fredericton. Yeah, yeah. There was little bits of support everywhere. I uh, so like it I wish then we had that left had then. I wish then. nope. You know what? I wish we had all joined up then. We could be one big, hopefully more towards the center instead of crazy for cocoa puffs to the right. Ugh, or we'd be Maine, and they're fucking crazy. No, yeah, Maine's Maine's diverting. Yeah. Maine's Maine's yeah. headed back. Yeah, yeah, but like. After they gave the Republicans so much power that he's actually rewriting their state laws to make it impossible to oh, undo things. Oh, he was things. fucked. Yeah. Fucked for weeks. Fucked for years. But no, he's... I, Maine is... Maine is changing. Stabilizing. Stabilizing. Mm. We'll go with that. For most of you hope for some parts of the world, especially if they're close to New Brunswick. Oh, my oh no. <laughs> uh. Poor New Brunswick. No, I, I find it funny, though, that... This whole thing where, you know, oh, this is going to bolster the national conservatives because of these provincial elections turning it, conservative. It, it makes Our next one is going to turn conservative, not because anyone in this fucking part of the world has any affinity for the national conservative party, but because we're fucking any... sick to death of our gormless premier, for Christ's sakes. Yeah. And it was the same in Ontario. Like, but he's even fucked that. 
Yeah, and because he just drove a wedge between himself and the national that's, party. That's the most it's frustrating great. thing, though. Like, and it fucked up relations with the ADQ. Oh or the, my is god! It AD, no, it's not ADQ. Who is? It's the CAC. Yeah, the CAC. The, the CAC in Quebec. It fucked that up too. How do you fuck that? How up? do you drive the conservative movement in Canada into three parts? Language. I can't Brilliant. believe Bernie is still going. He's still beating that fucking drum. I know. When the conservative movement's already so distracted and fractured, he's still trying to splinter off on his own. I'm so entertained. Like, I'm hopeful that it's going to be a clusterfuck. Because it needs to be a clusterfuck for power reasons. Well, the ultimate terror pile would be if it actually worked out. Oh, God. If it's somehow stabilized into this bizarre concoction. That is not that weird. Ugh. It, well, we're pretty weird, we but we're not that. Very weird. Yeah, uh, we're not that. We can can the Atlantic weird. provinces just become Atlantis then? Oh, Atlantica. We'd be yeah. so poor. That, that's an actual idea, and yeah, the projected GDP is smaller than like Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, I'd love it in thought, in idea. I yeah. think it's great, but in practice, it's, it's not a problem. We'd be fucked. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I keep cozy enough to Quebec a little bit. I'm like, hey, Quebec. Hey, you know, Quebec. if you ever go. Hey, Quebec keeps going. We'd be so far me. away from the rest of Canada. And they're fine, but they're, you know, electing Fords and just being weird. Oh, but that, you know, you know that they would demand the capital be Quebec. And then it would just start being like. It would just be reverse Canada. Oh, it would be the worst. It would be linguistically reverse Canada. They would ignore us forever. That's great. Fun with that. The Acadians would hate it too, and they'd be on our side. That'd be fun. You drive across the Quebec border, everyone's just a shit, no matter which side you're going to or from. God. So angry all the time now. <laughs> this has not worked out. Stop saying that in English. The last thing Quebec needs is to be on top. <laughs> <laughs> they already have practically every prime minister anyway. That's true. Yeah. You know, except for the bad ones. <laughs> Even some of the bad ones. Who's the bad one from Quebec? Harper's not from Quebec, so like... No, I said, who's the oh, bad one from the, Quebec? Uh, wasn't Brian Mulroney from Quebec? Brian Mulroney was from Quebec. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, let's fucking segue. He's gonna speak at uh, GHWB's... Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 oh, shit, what's the song? Rich old witch. The wicked witch. Da, 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 the Wicked Witch is dead. Ding Dong? Yes, ding thank dong, you. Ding Dong, dead. thank you. I knew I couldn't remember the fucking lyrics, and it's ridiculous. Well, you did remember the lyrics just on the title. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess not the... Yeah, I guess it was the percussion. <laughs> anyway. There's it's... been a lot of... Uh, yeah. A lot of refer, a lot of reforming, a lot of ass kissing, and someone pointed out that not even twenty years ago this didn't happen. When a statesperson died, you like respectfully went, mm, yes, they they had service and did things, and some of them are questionable, and some of them were good. Mm -hmm. And now it's it's nothing but editorials of of him in front of the pearly gates with Barb and everyone going. Yeah. He was so civil. Yes. Yeah. So civil. He was such a statesman. Oh, such a statesman. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, swaths of his country are dying of AIDS, but you can't acknowledge that at all. No, no. Not that. The fact they ignored it. He did do, like, the, there was an environmental thing where he was one of the first presidents to, like, sign in, like, clean air. Yeah, because it acid rained him all yeah. the time, all running. Which, you know what? I'll give him that. Yeah, I'll give I, him both that get... one. Like, there are some good. They, they're they both uh, a specific kind of conservatism that doesn't exist anymore that saw resources as things you actually did want to protect. Yeah. Making money's good. You can't make money if everyone's dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you own a drug company. Mm. You make lots of money. But the their general... That, that was that was definitely their approach because like, they were like, no, you have to have clean air because people need to be able to buy things. Mm -hmm. You can't buy things if you're dead. Do you find that nationally, the conversation here, to get back to here, hmm. is, as far as the conservatives go now, there's a large majority that are just kind of entertained by the fact that they don't have a policy to do anything about climate change. Oh, they're, I think they like not having it because then they're not hamstrung to anything. They can say and react however they want. But they're not a choice anymore for so many people because of that. It's I think that's a corner that we're turning now. Oh, absolutely. But they don't... To them, it's still own the libs. 
and they don't understand that not everyone is not everyone virtually no one at this point yeah well exactly God, like it's a serious minority sure yeah but like a serious minority and that you know what the left is not fractured enough <laughs> the left the is le- definitely the left has de- like as as much as the left loves to fracture yeah. it definitely has found united targets well it's found united targets and <laughs> it's it's self attempt to fracture is just not working uh yeah you definitely but it's got, got love... two left feet right yes left one is called leftist the other is liberal it's got two left feet. One is one is pretty big right now, and one is just teeny and kind of floppy and yeah, yeah, not not in the news portrayed very well lately. Fucking Jagmeet Singh, Jesus Christ! Why didn't he go run back in his old riding? Because it would have made him look like a flip flop for sure. But then yeah. he could have just been like, "This is where I'm actually from, and no people. Like, why would I not? Like, I was trying to do my best." To service the people of this community out in wherever BC. Yeah. But I actually know people here and I'm based here and it just makes perfect sense and I can do a better job here. And it would look less like they're trying to be like, fuck it, stick them somewhere that we can win. We yeah. need this guy to be elected. Yeah. Aren't they pulling third there? Yes. Good. They are truly the Considering most the decisions they've made. Yeah. Good. It, like, I, I don't believe that the conservatives are incompetent. I think they're mean and cruel, and they're very competent at being mean and cruel. The NDP are incompetent. Well-hearted. Well, I don't think conservatives well, are mean, mean and cruel. I think they're incapable of empathy to a large degree. I think it's both. I think that manifests in the same there's, way. There are psychopaths and sociopaths. I think there's normal people in but the But that's true movement. across all I don't parties. think they have the imagination for other, like, people's, yes. for other They're, people's unfortunate circumstances. That's what but, that that's called sociopathy. Uh, I, I, I'm not saying they have none. I'm saying they have less. Um, I heard something really interesting on CBC about the um, uh, consent of the land would be addressed to certain uh, indigenous uh, tribes. Yeah. So like if you wanted to build something through a space or like re- do, put something in there, mm-hmm. you had to get the consent of the indigenous people. And I was like, already. this is great. Like we have, we have points of that across the country. Not, yeah. not everywhere. That's why we can't build places. any pipelines. And that's why Alberta's so mad. <laughs> I, Essentially that's why no, we it, can't. It is. Yeah, like, and like some of them are, are there was a lawsuit about that. It. Like, there was a lawsuit that the government got defeated on. They can't build what is it, the Keystone Pipeline. Yeah. Because uh, they did inadequate consulting with Native groups. And they did inadequate environmental reports. So instead, we're shoving as much oil as possible onto trains. Yeah. We're, we're repainting them anytime they get giant graffiti paintings of Lac Megantique on fire. Yep. And we're sending them out across the nation. This because be pipelines are terrible. This will be fine. Fucking environmentalists who think pipelines are the worst enemy right now? Jesus Christ. No, we're not moving fast enough into the green movement. No, we're not. No, we need to move having them much faster. It doesn't help. No, shutting off an entire back. province is, shutting off an entire province's economy too. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing, is that um, You have to re gear it. That has to come from within oh, a bit, yeah, but you have absolutely. to you, you have to put it pressure from outside. But they they But you can't shut it off. While they claim that they've completely collapsed economically they're still making equalization payments. Yeah. So really, we're talking about they're not as profitable as they want to be. That's the thing. It's not that they're... And they wonder why we're like, boo-hoo, and we're like, but it's the worst argument back because we're like, we're so poor, you're still sending us money and you're complaining, and then like, we're still sending you money when we're this poor? And we wonder why Canada tears itself apart every yeah, few years. We, we, have a, we have fun. We to have our credit, fun. we don't tear ourselves completely apart. No, we just get angry at each other. Yeah, and then stew, and then forget, and, is, LA, and then still people talking. sit back and yes. wonder why we're such a regional country, <coughs> and, and why we're so along. self-involved. Yeah, yeah, but no, an Olympics comes along, the the women and win gold for on hockey, and we all go yay. Oh, it won't unite us in Calgary. I think that's the best decision. The Olympic movement right now is a fucking insane farce. It is a criminal is is a roving clipped a, a roving kleptocratic uh, dictatorship. That's the best way I ever heard it explained. Yeah, that makes sense. And it where, just where settles in bankrupt. Olympics from again? Oh God, that was a he was British, wasn't he? 
No. What do you mean grace? No, That's I mean like the, the modern, no, I mean like carrying the torch. Oh, oh, oh that shit. Nazis, oh, all the pageantry? Yes. Listen, if you're going to fault Nazis for pageantry, you're not allowed to wear Hugo Boss or drive in a Volkswagen ever again. <laughs> you probably can't take Advil, although that's debatable, I think. I think you can take Advil. Um, you can take Advil, but you have to be aware that a lot of their profits came from. You can't. You probably can't admire the moon landing. Definitely not. No, that has less to do with pageantry. I just really wanted to get you with the Hugo Boss line. Although at, at, there is at least the the wonderful fact that I mean he's still a fucking Nazi. Hugo Boss designed and made the SS it. Stormtrooper uniforms. The, are we the baddies uniforms? Yeah. Like and admittedly, you can tell because you. That's look at quite them. the look. I'm yeah. not gonna say it's a good look because of context, but that's quite the look. But you can definitely tell that it's like, yes, this was designed by a suit designer who was just like, you can go crazy. Yeah. I can do it fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's fair. We're going to. Yeah. But uh, at, at least Werner von Braun, apparently when he saw the, or heard the first results of the V2 rocket hitting London, he's, uh, he wrote in his journal that day, uh, rocket uh, performed amiably, uh, amiably, landed on wrong planet. Hmm. So wow, he at great. least was like, I'm not a weapons designer. No, no, I go to space. No, no, that's how that shit happens too. But it's hard in the you know junky aftermath to kind of judge who was who. Yeah, well, but we have to judge. He 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 ended up with a, a special on Disney with Walt Disney, so I guess it worked out for him. Oh, there's a V2 rocket in Disneyland. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're just going to gloss over a reference to Walt Disney during a topic of anti Oh, no, 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 we're going to go straight to, there's a weapon of mass Nazi destruction in Disneyland. <laughs> That's great. There, uh, if you go to the, um, in, in the Magic Kingdom, if you go to uh, Tomorrowland, at the very front of it, there's this giant rocket. That's a V2 rocket. It's, it's crazy. It's not literally, like, it doesn't have the That's rocket funny. components, but Werner von Braun handed over his design scheme that was used for the v2 because it's iconic mm -hmm. it's a hilarious. v2 rocket <laughs> yeah so what we're saying is y you can't knock the pageantry yeah the because now the pageantry is so ingrained well it's like lenny reifenstahl like that's a weird thing that's yeah. some fucking terrifying propaganda that bitch was is it beautiful so good is at, it innovative yeah of course it is and informative of stuff like you can shorthand terror yeah is just it, by going like no just just repeat is that. it wrong on terrifying levels so yes wrong. yes of course it is but it's beautiful it's so frustrating yeah, yeah. she was a horrible person <laughs> yeah <laughs> i guess what i'm saying is that someday we'll be allowed to watch the cosby show again not yet I think they'll reboot it before they, they allow Cosby to come back in terms of... In, in like seven generations, they can admire it for its heartwarming comedy. Yeah. The same yeah. way uh, uh, we can look back at like... I can't think of anyone specifically right now, uh, but like horrible celebrities from the golden <gasps> age. No, 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 no. The Magic of Holograms will take oh, the guy Jesus. who played Uncle Phil. <gasps> yes! And we'll just I replace you. him. Yeah. For Bill Cosby. I'd watch it. And it'll yeah. be the Uncle Phil show. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the, the Uncle Phil show. Yeah. And they, you just change everyone's dialogue to Uncle Phil. It's and... where the re Vivian reverse would work. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's great. Or just continue it into new. No, you don't change Claire. You never change Claire. This is why I'm most mad about it. This belongs in the other podcast, but I don't care. Felicia Rashad. Whatever, yeah. I want to watch Rashad. her. I miss that. She's lovely. I loved her desk. Uh, because her desk was in the middle of the house. Oh, she had that little sp that yeah. little space. But like, if she she was running things because that was like the front desk Didn't she of the have house. Her... Was... Oh no, you're talking. I know where you're talking about. Do you remember though? She got her own little private office after a while. It was her own little room. But I loved. I kind of love that because like she was so important to the house of things running. Her desk was like right by the door. Yeah. That she had yeah, to be like. The entrance. Oh no no over here. That's hilarious. Yeah, you had to check in. You had to check the record. Yeah. Let the record show. Oh, my God. Anyway, where were we? Uh, anything happening in America? Is anything happening in America? Uh, how to recap 
Is it necessary? There was a, vo- there was a large vote in the last episode yeah, of this I, one. I guess, yeah, we should definitely talk about that. So, yeah, well, yeah, one, is it necessary? Two, yes, in terms of, so we're talking from a completely different context in terms of house power now. We would be remiss if we did not acknowledge that by being off the air during the midterms, mm. we didn't fall victim to the, oh, it's not a blue wave trap where everyone in the media looked stupid and made me depressed. Yeah. No, no, no. It's just a slight turnover. Yeah. It's a slight turnover. It's a slight turnover. Of, it's a slight change. Holy Jesus. This may actually be a slight approval of where things are going. Oh, actually, no. It's a fucking tsunami. It just took a couple minutes. Yeah. We're a little impatient. Sorry. I was super interested by uh, Stacey Abrams, the yeah. governor. Oh, yeah. She yeah. was very the, one of the best-spoken people that got pushed out into the national scene. Yeah. Because she kind of got, well, I think, more pushed out step forward. When was just very eloquent and is a like a person of um, like value, I would, I would say. She's magnetic and charismatic. I feel the same way about Beto O'Rourke and about... Yeah. Uh, yeah. To a lesser extent about Gillum in Florida. He was a good speaker, but, like, I don't know, I didn't... It, Everybody from Florida. It didn't stop when the YouTube clip came out of the kitchen. I, I, other people. I think that uh, that's where we are in our modern world. Yeah. Do you stop what you're doing when the music you're playing in the background chores, whatever playlist, switches to this politician for a minute? Yeah. Or, or do you no. Come and it, not it's worth remembering. We're in a, like a post Obama world in the sense that these are people who were inspired by his oration, and it, they all have like little sparks of it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's lots of comparisons, too, now. Yeah, already. And, and, hey, if that's a well-spoken person who has values and can describe them calmly and not screaming it at me... What are you I'm implying? Okay. <laughs> we're just wander <laughs> off stage? Oh, my God. He Get did, me a, out he of did here. a loop. I'm not even saying his name. He did a loop when he was on camera Don't to, yeah, to, go, to go back to pick up... Melania. Yeah. Like he just walked off in the wrong did a well, circle. name drop Lenny Reifenstahl. You can say it's... Trump. I don't want to. <laughs> in fairness, you didn't say Lenny Reifenstahl. Yeah. I, I don't know if he doesn't pay attention, if he doesn't listen to his handlers, if he just downright thinks that this is a power Did you move? see today's tweet? He doesn't listen to his handlers. He congratulated what's his oh, name? Scott Roger Free. Stone. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's like, some people know how to stand up and like keep their traps shut. It's like, oh my god. It's like, no, he's... Like, no, no, even dumb laymen like me go, that's obstruction of justice. Yeah. Like, you're congratulating was... someone for refusing to testify, oh essentially. Oh my god. Like, uh, there's, one, there's a writer from New, uh, Toronto that's been categorizing every lie. Oh, yes. Um, uh, oh, and it is, in, it is a him. beautiful, like, mm-hmm. continuous, like, stream of conscious unconsciousness. Sorry, I almost got the terms. And it's, it's so frustrating now. that he's literally the only person doing it. He's, no one else has to because he's so complete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he doesn't he give was you any the only one doing it. He doesn't hedge on things. He doesn't refuse to answer questions. He just, he just straight up lies to the camera. Yeah. And no one receives. And you can't say no one calls him on it because everybody does, but they don't call him on it in a way that works. They don't know how to because at this point you have to be like, you have to actually stand up and be like, Bullshit. I think you can, though. Like, they got Ivanka the other day. She's like, he never said anything about lethal force on the border. And they're like, here's a video of him saying he's authorizing lethal force on the border. She's like, well, sometimes it's necessary. They're like, you just said that never happened. Now you're saying it's necessary. Also, it's necessary to kill people for what, like... Yeah. For what? No? Stupid. Ugh. Um, At the same time, don't storm a country's borders. Oh, my... Well, yeah, like... The, the the no just the fucking migration no. wave has been over hyped. I, I think even the storming hasn't actually. No, been... I'm not saying like okay, no, but like one person even don't run out of country's borders unless oh, you're don't in like literally run out of country borders. No, like, unless well, you're you... in no, unless you're in like a North Korea South Korea situation where yeah. it's like the absolute nonsense of the world and your life is at risk. If your life is at risk. What's if you can't, not, though? well, no, no, no. It's it's the the literal at this exact moment you have a gun point to your head to yes. the so versus the 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 forces that are pushing you. Um, so in, in this case, it's less. It's a, it, don't run. Don't literally run yes. at the American border. You will get shot. 
Yes. Yes, literally run away from the North Korean border. These are literal yes. things that you should do in that physical yes. place. They should go to the border to get into America. Don't literally run yes. ahead. They will think that you have a bomb. There's nothing wrong with migration, and it's necessary in a ridiculous amount of cases. Yeah. But no, just fucking walk up. It Don't yell gun in an airport. If it doesn't yeah. work out over time, which does suck, really... <sighs> Do you want to risk what happens if you actually run at a border right now? Oh, my God. Especially that country. Uh, well, actually, speaking for local news, uh, two Those two fuck nuts. fucks, yeah. And Hitler it, stash and his idiot brother. Oh, my God, the Hitler stash. Don't oh. fucking do that shit. That's the thing. This is Stupid a message assholes. for Canadians as much as anyone right now. Yeah. So, um, do you... No, know? that sounds entitled. We're not coming from it from any... But truly is the dumbest... We're not coming at it from any de- any disparity, like any deprivation... No, like well, people who are trying to get into America from the South, in most cases, are. And it was literally a prank of some sort. They Do, do you know what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. So these two dumb shits who had gotten into the news last year for being dumb shits. One of them literally has a Hitler mustache. He does. Um, they parked their car in between the Canadian and American border uh, and just sat there for like eight hours. And like it turned into like... A suspected hostage situation where it's like, are they going off each other? Is it going to explode? Did we just catch them and, and they don't know what to do? And the whole thing was these two dumb shits thinking it was hilarious. That's like, dude, they could have fucking drone struck you. Oh man, the official charge doesn't it? Isn't it like it's, some kind it's of terrorism a form related of terrorism. hoax? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because you're getting the 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 the. the entirely it, it's it's actually like a military matter you're a national threat to the americans because they're appointed that way this is the thing america's armed to the teeth and the weapons are all pointing out right now yeah they've got soldiers sent to the southern border and told them to use lethal force and they have do you a, think they want to guaranteed the vast fucking majority don't do yeah you think the a vast couple majority do don't exactly do you think some do they sure do and uh in canada i can't remember if it's 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers of the American border at any point in Canada the Americans can do whatever they want in terms of law enforcement it can't be 100 kilometers that's insane I, I hope it's really not so think but, of how much of our country lives within that exactly that's the terrifying thing yeah they can do whatever they want and n- not have to consult they can inform afterwards they, well they have to inform afterwards but they don't need to consult during they can shoot you yeah, maybe America's not the country you run to right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Don't get pissed at people coming to Canada right now. Right? No, no. You want to get pissed at people coming to Canada right now? Fine. You sneak into Canada illegally and you get caught? You have to live in one of the provinces people don't really want to live in. <laughs> that includes the Maritimes, yes. You know what? I'd, if, I would send down some boats and say, like, hey, do you guys want to come up here? Yeah. Like, you that know what? I'm not going to go. Well, we'll take you, like... Yeah, so we'll, we'll screen because you're. We have to get you onto yes, a boat yes. and bring you up. But yeah. and that way you also get to screen. Nobody's being a monster. Nobody's sending anyone to the far north without provisions and telling them to make a life of it. But like, hey, you can't live in the Greater Toronto area. No. Or like, in BC, or like in you may like have to go to Regina. urban Quebec. You have to come to the Maritimes. You have to live in Dartmouth. You have to live in Glace Bay. You have to live in Medicine Hat. You don't have to live in Glace Bay or Medicine Hat or Dartmouth, but, but like you know, it are, they already have like isolation. They're affordable. Pay. They're all right. Yeah, I don't know. they already have an isolation pay. So like, yeah. you just say for the uh, they're not getting just, isolation pay for living in Glace Bay. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. getting isolation pay for living. It's in a bit bay. isolated. It's a bit isolated, but you, no one, no one has. Fine, you can you. get a bit of isolation pay. You can get five dollars and fifty cents a year. But yeah, no one has sympathy for you if you live in Glace Bay. Well, you just have to do it better than PEI. Yeah. You're getting where some people someone lives in Just Bay, they'll no. punch you in the face. You all exactly. PEI. Yeah. Uh, I live in God's country and you what? Someone has to live in PEI in the winter. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, they should do that. That shit sucks. That's a snowdrift. Oh, I know. But the problem is, you know that then the conservatives would scream. It would be the right morally and ethical thing. It would be for generations looked upon as great. conservatives and let them do the screening. No, they'll just kick people out. Yeah, they would. No, you can't do that. 
Yeah, you can never hand power over to a conservative. This is what we talked about point. earlier when we were saying you think conservatives have zero empathy or sociopaths. I think conservatives have some empathy, just you know, much less than. Why do you think they call them bleeding heart liberals? It's because they, their hearts do not necessarily bleed so quickly, or at all, or at all in some cases. Dust. <laughs> like vampires. You're assuming that heart that was the size of a pea of and, one and, in there. and no blood. That. Uh, yeah. It's the Grinch's heart, but it shrunk three sizes. The that Grinch part. has a heart, and that's the difference. Nice. <laughs> we didn't get onto the big orange dummy that much for this segment. Actually, hold I, That's I, nice. I just want, if, the, uh, if the midterms I, did anything, it should be that. I actually do want to make one point about the Grinch, because it just uh, dawned on me. Uh, that story is about uh, becoming a socialist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Anyway... <laughs> Now, and now they're using them to sell, like the Lorax, they're using them to sell SUVs. Of course. Yeah. Anyone who's like, Dr. Seuss is rolling over in his grave because of that, should fucking learn about why Dr. Seuss <laughs> is why probably buried head him. down. What a terrible person. Yeah, he was, he was a bit of a douche. Bit of a douche. He's the one that fucking left his dying wife and basically said, fuck you and his will to her. Yeah. It's something to that effect. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a bit much. And apparently kind of hated children. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel bad for judging someone for for the first of those. I don't care if you hate... Well, you know, don't hate children. Don't I, have children. I just find it like entertaining that children. someone who could, who, who could speak to generations of children so uniquely... Oh, just like, ugh, is go that ironic? Away. Don't you think? <laughs> Fuck off. Or he needed a way, a form That's or a way to speak irony. to them and just recorded it. Look, everybody's yeah. got to make a living. Like, not everybody likes what they do. That's fine. He probably hated it, and that makes it kind of, kind of fun, right? Fun Imagine just that. writing that case of the Mondays. Case <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Entire writing scheme about Monday. One day, fun day. Oh God damn. He also wrote, um, didn't he fucking write or animate or both, uh, BDSM? Books? Yes, he, he used to do, uh, both, uh, BDSM stuff before he got famous. So he's not and, all bad. And before that, uh, army ones. So yeah. And there's this weird, like, it, near the end of the army drawings, he starts drawing women a little sexier, and you can tell it's just like, this is what got him hired for the BDSM stuff. Mm-hmm. hmm <laughs> Just, okay. Good times. <clears throat> Geisel, that's the name. Theodore God. Seuss Geisel. Yeah, yeah, his actual trying to get name. there. There's a good international name to take us into the segment three. Right? Uh, so, yes. We yelled about Brexit a little. Yeah, we yelled about Brexit. What is the latest was... Nicola Sturgeon? I don't even know. Oh, the God. latest Nicola Sturgeon is that she was... Um... Uh, she was vying to get a seat at the debate uh, about Brexit between the two leaders of the National Party, and she was surprised that she was not um, getting allowed at the table. The part that I love is that I was calling you Nicola Sturgeon, and of course you know what the latest is with Nicola Sturgeon. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. You're like up on Brexit. You're like that Commonwealth guy. It's important. I actually have citizenship. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, Did you vote? Matters. Can you vote? Uh, Can I, you vote? Oh my god. I could have voted in the independence one, which I probably was the one that I would have voted in the most. How do you feel about not voting in that? I didn't realize. and like they Because I know you're an independentist. How do your ancestors feel? Seriously, this <laughs> man, I am this born... man can frown upon the PQ. The clan is pissed at you now. He can disapprove of the very concept of Quebec sovereignty. Well, then separatism. But you think Scotland, Scotland should be its own separated. country like last I've Tuesday. I understood the only way to separate is to put an ocean in between you. If Quebec <laughs> separates, how can I drive the new one? They're the old one. I got Scotland it. should be free oh any my minute. God. I love this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but what the fuck's going on over there? They got something approved and I still can't follow it. Theresa May is shedding cabinet members like every five minutes and still seems to form a government. Like, yeah. I do not understand I, the, the mess that fucking country is in. I don't understand how these political systems are able to survive these crises that in any previous regime within them would have been instant collapse at the sight of, yeah. let alone so deep into... No uh, one has 70s any clue. was a bit of a 
clusterfuck there. But... Absolutely, but stuff actually changed in the <coughs> 70s. Like, they, they still collapsed. Oh, things are changing. Oh, yeah. Things are changing, all right. I, if your country is being told repeatedly that every analysis possible shows that the decision you've made is going to be <laughs> terrible and calamitous for your country, worst. why do you still make it? Why do you not... Why? Who's their Who's their leftist? Who's their Bernie Sanders? Uh, What's his uh, name? Corbin. Jeremy Cor- Corbin. Jeremy Corbin. What the fuck is he doing being pro Brexit? If you're pro everybody, then have a pro standard of living for everybody yeah. argument. You want that more equalized? Great. Then tax the rich before they all lose their fucking fortunes or send it abroad. You forget that the idiocy. Only, no, you forgot that the only way you can ever make the British do anything good for themselves is if you make it nationalist. And if you do something bad, make it nationalist. That's how you get away with it. Ugh. That's how they got the NHS. They were in the middle of a uh, World War Two post win euphoric nationalism. Mm-hmm. NHS. Yeah. yeah, and that's why it's so popular. Yeah, because it's tied directly to their nationalism. You speak as a Canadian who thinks that our national health care system isn't part of isn't a point of national pride. It absolutely is. Even but, as much as we complain about it, threaten it with it, threaten it once. But British nationalism Andrew is a Shear. thousand year old Look at it. nonsense tied into yeah. Beowulf and King Arthur. Yeah, ours is tied. This to is a my drunk. argument against the monarchy. That shit makes no sense yeah. here. It's not relevant at all. Completely so why irrelevant. do we have to share the same royal family and national royal myth? Fuck that. No, royalty in its own is right is stupid. But if you're going to impose it on my country, at least impose it from locals. Yeah, I, I completely understand if we decide to go with like a pantheon of great leaders from like native culture or lore Ooh, or we'll nationalize like the Chateau Frontenac and turn it into a yeah. palace that shit's gorgeous that would be there's let's face it if we were a mo- local monarchy you couldn't have another kind of seat of royal power than no the, that that would be the top of Quebec City oh god that's about where it goes well it really make it English so it pisses everyone off of course but... yes oh god yes but make it English and native or something else so... or something else no I can't do that it has to be English or native. And then that'll really piss off Quebec. It, yeah, it would definitely have to yeah, go with native first, then English. Yeah. Then yeah. forget to p- print the French, but have it included under all the treaties and shit. Just put a reserve <laughs> on the plains of Avery. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> just, just a big fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to the Palace of the Plains of Abraham. You want to know what happened here? Anyone angry about Not any much. of the preceding commentary should look at what we actually did when we set up our founding government and the way things work with us and our native people. Should really calm the fuck down and actually agitate for something better. Because Jesus Christ, anything better. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that was supposed to be the international segment. Fine, we'll make it the international segment. We're not the worst. We're not the only ones. Fucking Japan, even. I always thought Japan, you talk about... Aboriginal people in Japan? Yeah. Most people don't know that. Yeah. No. But half of the geographic space of Japan is Aboriginal land. Yeah. Half! I know. In that way, it's like, you look at some Japan stuff, and it's like, oh, well, they've done a bunch of shit. Like, I feel a little better. But then you look at, like, New Zealand, and you're like, oh, you can actually be a lot, like... Yeah, you can actually you can actually learn things and yeah. take cultural things from. You can try and apply. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, you there's share. there's the yeah. Oh, thing. there there's the concept sharing instead of just you know taking and refusing. There's the funniest thing though because the um, uh, the American uh, the very first version of American Congress was based on the what was it, the Iroquois Confederation. It was based on a Native American political system and structure. That's how it came out, like, nowhere. They took it from the natives. Huh. No acknowledgments necessary. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, Congress is not a parliamentary or Republican system. It's a native tribal confederation. Okay. Yeah, and it makes more sense that way. Instead of the fucked up party crap that you get now. Because no. you wouldn't be a part of a party. You'd be a part of your own nation and representing directly, literally, your nation in a confederation. It would be like they had no state parties and every member from a state just represented that state entirely. Okay. Um, question internationally. What would you consider 
the world capital if at some point we had to decide on a world capital? I love, I love this globalist. question. I love this oh, question. Too. Uh, this is a great science fiction question. Whenever I yeah. try to write futuristically, I try. I always think of this. As an Anglophile, my, 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 I will always go with New York. I, if you had said London, I would have been really mad. No, no, fuck London. Yeah, New York City. I would have been really mad. New York City is the main capital of, of the world. Shut yeah, up, it is. Exactly. It's yeah. made of everyone. Yep. And the predominant English or language is English, so mm-hmm. I feel comfortable there. Yeah. <laughs> In full Star Trek verse, it would have to be Paris. It pee. It smell like pee. It would have to be Paris. No. For me. No. I would actually say Sorry. Tokyo. Uh, second. Because the Second World War. I'd Definitely be... not. Definitely not. Think of how everywhere else in Asia would react to Tokyo being the capital of the and, world. And, and and that's kind of the thing, because the entire point of it is to go super sci-fi. Because you know if the Japanese were told they are the capital of the world, it would just be like, we're building a mountain. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Around the world. Around the world. <laughs> no, I have, I, have, I have one possible suggestion. Istanbul. Istanbul is not Constantinople. Constantinople. Exactly. Change the name again because you have to. Yeah, give it get a, a fresh brand start. New name. Yeah. You acknowledge its multi-ethnic and very complicated history. Newer New York. New <laughs> New Newer New York. Newer New York. Newer New York. Constantinople. Constantinople. All right. So no, but it's multicultural. It's very complicated historically. Oh it bridges God, two it continents. Is. Yeah. It it yeah, it's the seat of power from for two immense. Empires, mm-hmm. uh, it's, yeah, shit, uh, three actually. Mm-hmm. It's more geographically central, really, than it really. Yeah, it's it's the exact center of the trade routes that used to dominate mm-hmm. uh, world power. Mm-hmm. Population wise, it's more central than New York or Tokyo. Yeah, and the Hagia Sophia is definitely like. Yes, at the moment it's a religious center, and you'd have to somehow get um, the local Muslim uh, people to give that. You up. think if we have a united world government, we won't have like <laughs> we, that will happen despite local angry Muslim Turkish people? I'm just saying that would be a wonderful building to have said world capital in. Is but, it big oh enough? My God. Um, for the sense of having, like, I'm not saying having like a global Senate. house of commons. Yeah, no, that would be a different building. Mm-hmm. This would be like the ceremony, like how technically the exact center of political power in England is Westminster Abbey. Okay. Not it's Parliament. The seat of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The seat is literally in the Abbey. The Abbey is the most powerful building. Oh, Not repeat Parliament. all past mistakes and make it an American style system and have oh, that be the Oval Christ. Office. That's great. Just in the very, very, very center of it, you put a desk. Oh, just at the perfect. fucking center, and you're like, this right here is the middle of the world. Yeah. That's Fuck fantastic. You. I think that's a good argument for me. it, though. It's a, it's a good one. And I think New York's overdone. I, if we're if we're establishing a world, like, um, capital, mm-hmm. I would then say, why not put it on the fucking moon? So that when you approach Earth, no. it's like, hey. No. Then There's you can't storm on the moon high. if it becomes necessary. If no, but maybe the moon is, can fly away if something happens to the Earth. <laughs> That's not how moon like, works. No, no, because I give something. <laughs> it's right up there with its made of cheese. <laughs> if we're going that route, implausible. If we're going that route, I my vote for a global capital then is uh, the ring station that you would build around Earth. It's the it's the approach too. Yeah. I'm not stopping till we get a Dyson sphere. Just whatever. <laughs> well, you, you build one. Then I you want build 90 another, billion then you Earth build surfaces another. to expand across. Oh my god, that would be so cool. That, well, yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> and terrifying. It'd be great. Can you imagine what 90 billion Earth's worth of people would be able to accomplish? God. Or destroy? To be fair, I like that this is where the international sanction has gone today. <laughs> war war in, in that large a space with that much resources would be fascinating because there would be complete, complete fucking destruction in some sectors. Oh, yeah. Billions lost, and other places would just be like, I did not hear. Really? Yeah. In, 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 so it would be like today. Dead? Really? So the numbers would increase. But it would be exactly. Like it would be fascinating. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But then it, that, that would move and shift. You just and... changed the scale. It's just an inflation. Oh, yeah. That's it was terrifying. Just like, like soil overturn. Just... This is why I find it funny when people are like horrified by the idea of the idea of global government i'm like you don't think it won't happen in some form eventually and you don't think at its heart the united nations was a good idea right we it's like flawed flawed probably flawed, flawed, should flawed, deal but... with stuff right yeah uh, yeah we I'd as a species know that no the should... nation state is paramount because really team sports are them. the only way to play eventually like yeah well yeah no that that's that's the thing is like people think of state system but it's like the state system's only actually about 500 years old before that, you had vague kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Kingdom borders weren't hard. They were like nationalism itself. They, if you, if, if someone told you you were under that king, it didn't matter where you were. Mm-hmm. You were part of that, that system. States didn't exist until Westphalia. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah. And, and they're not making much sense in this day and age. I'm sorry. They're not. Like... Yeah, they definitely made sense in a... We've been yelling about borders a lot. Transport. Yeah, it, it all comes down to logistics, and we move too fast. You can argue that they make more sense than ever because resources are so unevenly distributed, and many populations are just, like, desperate for everything, and other populations are, like, fat with everything. I feel like that's an excuse for it. That, but exa- And people are like, so you can't take away borders... Like, but well, look at, really, that's how it fits. And this the is speaking from someone in a fat zone, like yeah, it's, I, I that's ha- not a good solution. argument. That's not a healthy human argument. To appease America, they still keep the head of the entire world in the White House. Mm. Ugh, but never. but never. the White House is moved to Antarctica, so it's on a big white patch. As it's well. white from so snow. it's a White House white from on snow, a white yeah. land. So it's like... Oh, wait a minute. You just proposed making the capital of the world white land. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Polar. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, so the poles are in charge now. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it is a polarizing uh, Good decision. Good food. <laughs> Pierogies? Great Mostly, vodka. Yeah. Mm, cabbage. I love cabbage. I love cabbage. This has been my favorite international segment to date. <laughs> okay, what if we launch New York City into space? Is that a good middle ground? That would make America so much worse collectively. I would. Never oh no, lie. I'd be in New York. I don't fucking care about. Well, that. yeah. Okay, good. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. What about those of us who have to stay I'm not, behind I'm not and live next? Getting rid of them. Can I'm you imagine living next to America without New York? Good no. God. Oh my God. No. No. We'd have to rely on what Los Angeles and Chicago. Oh, or and you Boston? know that. It, well, there's the thing. It would definitely become Boston. Yeah. Because L.A. would be like, New York did what? Fuck it. We can do that. Bye. Texas would follow suit because they're like, wait, what? Chicago would be furious it hadn't done a second. And yeah. would therefore stay and say it was out of principle the whole time. But, you're just, but now there's you a know, second just Gulf doing... of Mexico, so it doesn't really matter. And Detroit would oh try to God. launch out of, into space and then realize they hadn't spent enough money crash on gas into and Ohio. <laughs> and crash into Ohio. And Ohio... <laughs> <laughs> would be a devastated wasteland. I'm sorry, Cleveland. I, I, I just don't. I don't. So just no highways. No highways. And like just if it crashes down, wasteland is just there's no highways. That's the only difference. So you've been to Ohio, so that reference makes sense. I've uh, never been to Ohio. Is it just highways? It's the only place that I that I think visually would look like uh, Los Angeles in in my brain of just the amount of fast the amount of like me. but like with the Midwest snow ew oh, uh, and flat uh, oh like curved but like not much curved. we're so elitist we have hills and country oh. roads and we're like how terrible highways and flat what was the gross. elevation change Ohio feet, how dare you oh. Uh, what were you thinking? Get, I'm getting the vapors. There's an escarpment you couldn't have hauled a glacier here. across that. Oh, like... escarpments! <laughs> oh my god! I like how we always get back to insulting America. I was insulting. We are Canadians. So we, we were so close to ins- insulting American geology. <laughs> we are so close to insulting Drew Carey. We almost got there. We almost got there. Wasn't life done enough? Yeah. <laughs> the price. Was you strong. happy now? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, well, we can't all be Wayne Brady. Oh, God, if we could. Mm. Just swimming in that money. Swimming in 
And that three piece suit that he wore everywhere. Yeah, well, that too. Yeah, huh? You, you know that <laughs> Wayne Brady could walk into any retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean. <laughs> I did not mean, and there's no better term than elderly poon. That is not. I, what I, was I really hope that that's actually his fetish, and he's just like, you Elder don't understand. Poon. I'm the happiest man on earth. He's really a old man with white hair. He just shaves it back every day. Can the title of this episode be Elder Poon? Elder Poon. Yeah. Elder Poon. I feel good about that. That's we'll, we'll run with that. Welcome to season three. Welcome to season three. It's even more vague and unstructured than ever before! Yay!